goes, by the way. So, uh, yes, hopefully you can hear me if you're listening to the recording. And all the videos that I've uh, done for this subject now have audio. So if you go to the uh, CAD2 folder and then you'll see in the Android Boy Charlton full videos, I've redone all of those earlier videos and uh, then um, and made sure as well there were a couple of steps I think I missed with you that I've uh, put in there as well now. So if you want to go over those, uh, they all have audio. The ones in the archive folder are the ones I did with you that don't have audio. So hopefully that's all um, easier for you to work with. And then um, the, well, obviously the bar modeling here is going to follow, follow on pretty much from what I did with the cam uh, cabinetry modeling. So looking at the, uh, the area I've got there, Oh, oh, sorry, the railing first. I forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. So I'll do, yeah, I'll do that quick thing with the system families first. So uh, to get any system family, and in this case for the railing, I'm going to use a system family type. And that's the confusing part. Uh, if I go back to the plan view, I can see where I want the railing to be. And then on the architecture tab, you can s you'll find the railing tool. And so that's at first... Uh, what you need to know to be able to use railings. And I'll just go ahead and click the railing button. Yeah. And draw some lines where I want the railing to go. And that's really uh, important because you need to be able to make a railing in the first place before you can do anything with them. And this, will, this is good actually, this will tie in really well to what I'm going to do with the um, sweeps. So that's essentially the path for the railing to follow. So I want to follow that L-shaped path. So I'm just going to click tick to finish. Just two lines. Tick to finish and it'll make my railing. But you've probably seen already if you've had a go at railings that the railings you're given in the project template are awful. They're all awful. Some are just less awful than the others. Uh, this is the worst probably, the one that it starts with. I can't stand those. I've never used one. But I know some people for some reason. Uh, then the pipe one is, uh, oh sorry, the 900mm is uh, just a shorter version of that, but then the 900mm pipe is uh, I think marginally better, but remember that wouldn't be legal in all situations because of the requirement for um, both the gap and the uh, ladder aspect uh, climbing up them. So um, you can't use that in all situations. You'll see then that I have uh, some extra railings that you won't uh, most likely have in your projects though. So I can just flip to those. But if you have a look at the options you're given, if you make a railing, you'll most likely just have those first three. So how do you get railings from, essentially from the library? And there's a bit of a trick to it. Because you can't load from the library, I'll just show you when you click on the railing button, there's no load family button. Cancel that. So with component, you get load family and a lot of these other tools you get the same. On the insert tab, you can just choose load family without choosing a tool. And that's a really useful option, but that's not going to help you here because it's not the right um, thing to be loading. And that's the main uh, main issue and the main thing you need to understand, I suppose, with railings. Uh, the trick there is to remember open, not load. So what I was just saying about the system families, hopefully when you use them more, you'll see why you do it this way. But uh, at first, just try to remember that. It's the uh, most important step. It's the one people always forget. They go to load, we'll do everything else right, and uh, spend hours browsing around trying to work out why it just won't load. Uh, no matter what you do, you can't use load family to get this in. Only open. So either on the main menu, click open, or click the folder next to the big R. That's the same thing. And the reason you do it that way is because here you can see it'll open RVT files. Can you open a project? That's right. We're opening a project file. That's really what I'm getting at. So with load family, it only gives you RFA files, which are Revit family files. With open, you get all of them. And that's what we want. Yeah, to model, model in place. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yep, yep. 
Yeah, similar idea, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right, exactly. That's right. To load it or to get it, that's right. That's the only way. You'd have to copy and paste it from that project file. But that's the right, exactly the right idea, yeah. That's right. Uh, and that's why it's good to think about when you need to start putting them into family files to get to them more easily. Um, unfortunately, though, railings and walls and floors are all the same. You have to load them this way. And so once you've done that, then you can click on the metric family shortcut on the left, which takes you to the library. And then you'll see that it'll always have a sample files folder where you'll find railings and the others. And that's a good reminder for the other main system families. Stairs, roofs, fences, you do them all the same way, like this. Okay, so I found my railings, double click, and it opens just like a project file, so it's just like the file I was in, just uh, with the bar. And, uh, there are all the railings that they give you. So you can easily change and uh, uh, copy these to make your own. But I'll just start with one that's close to what we're after. And this one here, commercial glass with fixings, is, uh, is not too bad. So, uh, so I've just selected it. And then again, just remember what I was just showing you, um, copy to clipboard. Same way. Exactly. Yep. So you're just visually choosing the one you want, which is a nice way, I think, of browsing through the library. But then we've got to get back to the project file that we were in. So you can use the shortcut, Control Tab, will always work. Or if you want to use the um, radio buttons in the top corner, you can minimize the view that way and see any other windows that are open. And you'll probably be surprised if you haven't looked at this before how many are open. Uh, there's one from the project I want, so I'll maximise that. And uh, now, this is the real trick. Under Modify, you just need to choose Paste from Clipboard. You don't need to choose any special options there. Just the first option, Paste from Clipboard. And then just click anywhere. You've got to do this. You've got to put it somewhere in the project. And again, I know it seems a bit nutty, but it's just to get it there so we can choose that kind of railing. Okay, so it's in there. If I choose it, we know it's going to tell me it's commercial glass with fixings, which means I can choose any other railing, such as the one I made earlier, and set it to be the same type. That's all it is. So I don't need this one anymore. I can delete that. And now, when I make any other railings in this file, just drawing the path I'm after. So this one comes down a bit to here, a bit different. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. Okay, so again, just another L shape, but a bit different to the first one. Tick to finish. And it's made that. When you make the stairs, so we'll be looking at stairs later. But I'll just quickly show you if I make any stair. Uh, let's so let's do it the old way with the stair by sketch, and uh, so any old stair, they all can use railings, and so it can easily be set. Uh, okay, the stair's not working too well, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. The main thing there is that the railing that came with the stair can be set to that same one just as easily. So, unfortunately, I've drawn it right over the floor, but that's all right. Uh, as long as you can, well, we'll worry about that later. So, oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not here. Uh, so, that'll help you for all kinds of things, like I was saying, not just the railings. Um, have a look at the stairs. So, just use the same trick. Go to just open and browse to that sample files folder and have a look at all the stairs they give you, which, you know, is a huge time saver. Exactly, yep. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, sure, sure. So maybe I'll go and get a different kind of railing. And uh, so, again, just main menu, open. And then using the uh, shortcuts on the left, I 
click on metric library and then browse down to sample files and then find the file I'm after, railings, and click. So, so here's another one that might be okay. Maybe not. Uh, that one's better. Yeah, that's worth trying. So I'll just try this one. Uh, select after it's selected, I can just go to, again copy to clipboard, and then uh, so this time I'll just use Control Tab, which will take me back to the previous file, and then uh, well. Again, I could go to modify and then paste, but control V usually works. It's weird. Control C is a bit buggy, but control V seems to always, or usually seems to work. So I'm just going to click anywhere to paste that in to this file. And, uh, and usually there it's worth just clicking to one side, and then you can check for yourselves if you select a different railing, whether in the uh, type selector there, you can choose the one you want. I don't need this particular railing anymore, I've got the type. And that's really the main concept there. It is a system family, all railings are system families, but you make your different kinds of railings by making different railing types. So what you're really doing is you're copying different railing types from one project file to another. If it doesn't make any sense, the difference between a type and a family, don't worry too much, but uh, it will. So, uh, again, just looking over here at the, um, the area where I've got a model. When you make... Yeah, I'm just going to quickly go into uh, Suite, because that's the last major modelling thing we've got to look at. Yeah, yeah, well, I was just uh, actually debating whether to finish this one now. Actually, I'll finish this one. Yeah, yep, we'll keep it short. So that should finish. Um. Okay, and it may have not recorded all of that. 